Hello, my fellow Mustangs. My name is Hunter Moore. I am a senior business management major here at MSU Texas. I am one of many orientation leaders you will meet this summer. I am also the Resident Hall Association president. Me and my fellow orientation leaders want to welcome you to Midwestern State University, and we're so excited that you'll be calling MSU Texas home, and we're ready to guide you into all things MSU, so let's jump on into it. We're going to start off with the first chapter and that is everything to do with move-in. By now you should have already made your room and housing assignments. August 1st is when you are going to make your plan scheduled for move-in whatever time during that day you want to come and move in and then August 22nd is when you and your family get to come onto campus and move everything in. What you should expect during move-in it's going to be hectic I won't lie to you there's going to be people everywhere but just know everyone here in maroon and gold are are here to support you. Our football team will be here to assist you and your families with taking your items to your room. When they get your items, by the time you're done parking, everything will be in your room and ready for you to organize. August 1st is going to be when registration for movement is going to open. So August 1st and after is when you want to take that time to see what time during that day you and your family want to move in. And then move in will be August 22nd. That is a Tuesday that you and your family can come onto campus and move everything into your new home. So now let's talk about one of our large traditional events here at MSU Texas. It's going to happen right after move-in. It will take place Wednesday, August 23rd, and it's called Roundup Week. And what that is, is simply all of our first-year students, no matter resident or commuter, will be paired with an upperclassman. The upperclassman will be here to mentor you. They will show you around campus, take you to your professors, your classes, show you the dining spots, anything you can imagine that mentor is there for you. Also during Roundup, you are going to go to our Spirit of the Mustangs, which are horse statues over by Centennial and Bridwell. You're going to go with the dean of your major. If you're undecided, that's still fine. You still get to be part of this traditional activity. You're going to go to the freshman horse and you're going to touch the tail. That signifies the beginning of your journey here at MSU Texas. Following that, all of our incoming students are going to go to our Coliseum where we're going to have convocation. This is when the university as a whole, administrators, everyone, welcome you to our campus and welcome you to the family and welcome you as Mustangs. And then following that, there'll be so many activities for you guys to enjoy during the evening with your crew leaders. One commonly asked question we get all the time is how mailing works here at Midwestern State University. Your first weeks here, watch your emails carefully. You're going to receive an email that designates you a P.O. box with a lock combination. But in that email, you will also receive what your address is. So if you want to receive packages or you do a lot of online ordering, that mailing address will be crucial for you. Our P.O. boxes for our residential facilities are going to be housed in Legacy Commons. And so that email will designate which box is yours and what the combination is. Those P.O. boxes will take anything up to letter size. Anything larger will be sent to our post office, which is housed in the Clark Student Center. You will receive an email notification notifying you that you have a package and what steps to follow to go grab that package. Now that wraps up living on campus. I want to leave you with some general advice and that is make those connections with your professors during the first weeks here because they're going to be crucial to your success in the next four years here at MSU Texas. With any additional um, information or frequently asked questions, you can visit our website. And now handing it off to Amber, who's going to go over everything about dining for you. Hey Mustangs, I'm Amber Seward. I'm a senior engineering student and I'm also a 2023 orientation leader and I'm going to be your guide for where to dine on campus. So in the last chapter, Hunter covered the like living on campus. So you're living in the residence halls, apartments on campus or off campus. Where do you go for breakfast, lunch and dinner? First up, we're gonna go into what, what you can find in the Clark Student Center. First up is the Mesquite Dining Hall, which is, has like a buffet style dining. You can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. The menu will change like every day. If you're ever wondering like what they're maybe serving, you can always check it on the school's website. Next is one of our most popular dining locations on campus, which is Chick-fil-A. Uh, disclaimer, the lines too tend to be long here. So if you're planning on Chick-fil-A, make sure you're playing your time wisely, but it's definitely worth it. Right next to Chick-fil-A is one of my personal favorites. It's 
a sushi, which they make um, fresh sushi rolls. They also have a couple poke bowls as well as a couple boba tea options, which you can just come in, you can grab and go, they'll check you out and then you can be on your way. So it's a little bit quicker if you don't wanna wait in the line for Chick-fil-A that day. Now, if you ever find yourself on the other side of campus, definitely try out Einstein Bro Bagel Shop located in the Diller College of Business. Now, if you're ever wanting something a little bit closer to like the dorm and the living side of campus, there's in the Birdwell Activity Center, they have campus coffee and tea where you can also get coffee and tea. And they also have a couple different like fresh fruit. They have deli sandwiches if you ever want something quick and to snack on. So you can get out of your room, come over, grab a cup of coffee, sit down with your friends. You can bring your stuff to study. It's definitely really beautiful like location so definitely come check it out. So you're needing a snack and um, definitely check out the Legacy Market located in Legacy Commons. Um, I like them because you can they are open later hours in the day so you can go down there like grab a snack or a drink or like take a break wind down and so definitely go check them out. Next we're going to talk about how to pay for dining on campus. Mustangs living in Killingsworth, Legacy, and McCullough Trigg are required to select one of the following meal plans. First, we have the Platinum All Access Plan, which just means that students can enter the Mesquite Dining Home as many times as they want. And the next plans are the Gold 200, the Silver 150, and the Broad 75. These are classified as block plans. That just means that students will have a designated amount of meals each semester. However, the Bronze 75 plan is only for the on-campus apartment students and commuter students. That's the basics about dining at MSU Texas. For more information on meal plans, locations, and hours of operation, you can go to our website. Hi everyone, I'm Kennedy Thomas. I'm a sophomore dental hygiene major, and we're going to be talking about a few traditions we have at MSU Texas. Let's start with one of the most fun to look forward to in the fall, homecoming. Homecoming is a week-long celebration and a chance to show your maroon and gold spirit. Each year, there will be a different theme to kick off the homecoming week. There are several traditions to look forward to, including the cardboard boat race, the lip sync competition, the t-shirt bonfire, the torchlight parade, the pep rally, and of course, the homecoming game. Next, let's talk about one of the most cherished traditions here at MSU Texas the Fantasy of Lights. This year will be the 50th anniversary of the MSU Burns Fantasy of Lights. The tradition originally started on the lawn of Mr. and Mrs. L.T. Burns, whose lawn starting in the 1920s became a holiday spectacle in Wichita Falls. The Burns had a unique animated displays lighting up their lawn during the holiday season. And later on in 1974, their family would donate all of the displays to MSU Texas. Since then, the display collection has grown. The displays are placed on hardened lawn for the community to enjoy for free during the holiday season. Next, let's talk about a good way to relax from your first round of finals, finals frenzy. There are games, activities, and a late night breakfast, and it's a great way to unwind before finals. Finally, let's talk about a tradition that takes place right here, the Senior Spirit Walk. The Senior Spirit Walk is held in May and December before graduation. Students meet with their colleges to celebrate their achievements and then walk to the Spirit of the Mustangs where they will touch the nose of the Senior Mustang to symbolize the end of their undergraduate journey at MSU Texas. There are even more traditions that you guys can experience here on campus and we hope you make great memories while you're a student here. To learn about other traditions, visit our website. Go Mustangs! Bye guys! Hey, what's up Mustangs? My name is Himanshu, but my friends here call me Shu. I'm an international student all the way from India, currently majoring in exercise physiology. And in this last segment, we will be going over through the resources available to you during your time here at MSU Texas. For some incoming students, the transition into university life can be a little bit of challenging when it comes to the new classes. I know I have experienced it, but fear not, because we have TASP Learning Center here at Moffitt Library. The Learning Center here at Moffitt Library offers a drop-in tutoring sessions for general subjects including writing, math, science, psychology, history, and even foreign languages. Students don't need to schedule an appointment for tutoring sessions, and the one-on-one -on -one sessions typically last one hour. There are more resources available to students at the Learning Center, and you can learn more on the MSU Texas website. We know that academic success is important, but being an exercise physiology major, I also understand the importance of physical wellness. 
for students looking to exercise on campus, check out our wellness center. The wellness center has free weights and lots of different equipments to help you reach your fitness goals. There is also an indoor track, 11 rounds makes a mile, a fully equipped gymnasium and the state of art group fitnesses rooms. Speaking of group fitness, the wellness center has several fitness classes that are offered each semester. The wellness center is also responsible for hosting multiple recreational events such as 4v4 volleyball, 5v5 basketball and even mini soccer games. Right next to the wellness center is the Winston Health Center where students can make an appointment and see the provider on staff for anything from general medical visits, flu vaccinations and other services. And the last thing that we will talk about today is transportation for students using Mustang Shuttle Services and Mesa Bus Route. The Mustang Shuttle Route goes along Taft Boulevard and Maplewood Avenue, Southwest Parkway to Professional Drive and Greenbrier Road for students living near campus. Buses run every 30 minutes starting from Moffitt Library and there are multiple bus stops located throughout the campus. To board the bus, students just need their MSU Texas student ID. You can also track the Mustang Shuttle using our Double Map app. The Mesa bus route takes students where they need to go on weekend evenings. Stops along this route will take you to places for shopping such as Walmart, Target, Aldi and even food stops such as Taco Casa, Chili's, Texas Roadhouse and other stops. To learn other available resources at, here at MSU Texas, you can visit our Student Life page on our website. We hope this guide to MSU Texas has been helpful and I speak for all of our MSU Texas community when I say that we are glad that you decided to join the Mustangs family. We hope that you be a part of our Mustangs cultures, traditions and events happening on campus. We wish you best of luck for your classes, get to know your professors, faculties and make lots and lots of friends. Have a great first year at Midwestern State University. We'll see you around on campus. See ya Mustangs!